scary thinking, you know, someone's being stabbed off there and we don't even hear about it until 10 days later or something like that. A 79-year-old woman stabbed to death in an unusually peaceful neighborhood 10 days ago, and many of her neighbors didn't even know about it till this week. This is Wave News 11. I'm John Bull. Betty Collins was found dead February 12th when LMPD went to check on her. They found that she had been stabbed. Now, LMPD says they're stepping up patrols in that area. But the announcement is a little out of the ordinary. Wave News reporter David Ochoa went out to the neighborhood and talked to the neighbors. Yeah, this happened in a small, mostly elderly community in Fern Creek. And LMPD says after a lot of concern from residents, they're increasing patrols in the area. But that's not something they typically announce. Right off of Billtown Road is Chenoweth Park, a nice, peaceful neighborhood. I mean, I've seen some younger people in here, but it's mostly older people, you know, retired and widowed and whatever. So. On February 12th, LMPD checked on Betty Collins, a 79-year-old woman who lived in one of the patio homes. They found her stabbed to death. A few neighbors I talked to say they didn't know about her murder until this week. About daughters and my grandson heard it on the news and started calling me to see if I've heard anything about it. And I'm like, no. LMPD says they've gotten a lot of calls from the community expressing their concern about the incident. I think more about going out after dark now. <laughs> you know, I'd be afraid to. And um, also about leaving the doors open. I mean, even though they're locked, the outside door, but still, you you know. This woman who didn't want to go on camera told me things can be done in the community to make her feel safer. Well, we need more lighting out to the uh, patio homes where my car is really dark when I go out at night. Also, maybe they could think about putting a security gate up out front. On Thursday, LMPD released a follow-up statement to Wednesday's announcement of the crime. They gave tips on how people can keep themselves safe and announced they're stepping up patrols in the immediate area. Uh, yes, if they would step up patrols or, you know, come back in here, uh, yeah, that would make me feel a little better. Louisville has had more than 100 homicides for four years in a row, most of which Wave News has covered. LMPD's crime map says this homicide is the only one that's happened in the last year in the immediate area. Meanwhile, here's what parts of downtown to Shawnee looks like in the same time frame. We can't find any kind of announcement of extra patrols from LMPD for any of these homicides. So I asked them what was different this time. In their original statement, LMPD says a lot of elderly people live in the area. So I asked if demographics had anything to do with it. LMPD also says they've gotten a lot of questions from residents. So I asked if it's something that people need to ask for. I haven't gotten a response back for any of these questions. The only other time extra patrols were announced was last summer in the Highlands after there had been a few shootings. David Ochoa, Wave News. David.